Assalamu alaikum. alaykum. MashaAllah, mashaAllah. I'm very happy now. Alhamdulillah, we all are here today. And it's a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are gathered here for the good cause. As Brother Junaid mentioned, that inshallah, we are very close to completion of our project. And tonight program is very important. So we are really thankful from the deep of our heart. I really thankful to each one of you, you came over here for this program and uh, to support for the cause of Allah. But don't forget, this is your masjid and this is our masjid. So by donating the funds, inshallah, we will complete the project as soon as possible. Thank you once again for coming. Jazakallah khair. Yeah. So uh, the first thing I'd like to bring to everyone's attention is when the governor does enter the arena, both of the doors that lead to the entry here into the arena, the gym, both of these doors will be closed. After these doors close, when the governor is inside, those doors will remain closed until the duration of her address. So if anybody is trying to contact you that, you know, is my seat there, I'm outside, uh, please let them know that the doors will continue to remain closed until the governor vacates the arena. This is part of the security protocol, so we, we apologize for any uh, uh, misunderstanding on part of the people that are outside. In the social hall, there is audio and visual setup so they can watch the proceedings uh, from the social hall, but the, the doors will remain closed. And we're very excited to have uh, a special guest, um, a guest that's known as the woman from Michigan. And we're ex so I'm proud. I'm proud to introduce the woman that's fixing our darn roads. And uh, the, the governor of our great state of Michigan, Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Salaamu Alaikum. And Ramadan Mubarak to you, and I hope that you are enjoying this month's festivities with friends and family and neighbors, and I am excited to join you tonight for your annual fundraising iftar. The Islamic Association of Greater Detroit is a pillar in this region and a source of pride for all Muslim Michiganders. Established more than 40 years ago, this institution makes a real difference in people's lives. Your community offers incredible services from Saturday school and youth programs to marriages and social events and interfaith activities. And you bring people together to build a strong community and you are growing fast, hence the need for the new mosque. Because of this growth, I know that this need to expand your facilities is critical as you host more activities for events and new members and I wish you the best of luck in your ongoing fundraising efforts. And I know that you will be successful. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Rehma Khan, and I'm the president of the Islamic Association of Greater Detroit, which we also love to call IADD. Today we are gathered to celebrate the holy month of Ramadan and host our annual expansion fundraising dinner. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everybody, thank you so much for joining us on this annual fundraising event. And such a warm welcome to our uh, first lady, uh, the governor, she said. Kullun amana billahi wa mala Um, Assalamu alaikum. I just, uh, you know, we have a special guest in uh, our Supreme Court Justice, uh, Richard Bernstein, uh, who's here and uh, wanted to see if he could uh, say a few words. We're honored. He is my uh, classmate from uh, high school. And as many of you who are from Michigan, if you grew up, his father is uh, Sam Bernstein, uh, the lawyer. I think it could be said that the beauty of this structure represents the heart and the spirit and the magnificence of this community. For this is a community that says that everybody matters. This is a community that says that everybody belongs. This is a community that says we care about all people. For today, we inaugurate this most of magnificent places 
We celebrate what it represents. My dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. May Allah's peace, blessings, and mercy be upon you all. It's an absolute delight to come back to this beautiful Islamic center. I'm immensely grateful to Dr. Ghaus Malik for inviting me once again over here. And it's so nice to see so many very dear and wonderful friends. Once a wise man said, being in a good company of people is as if you walk into a store of perfume. Whether you buy the perfume or not, you are bound to receive the fragrance. So I'm so happy to see so many wonderful brothers and sisters over here. Um, I feel very proud to be here at IGD. Um, I will tell you when I drove up, it sort of took my breath away because I haven't been here in a few years. And the last time I saw the, I saw the plans for the extension of the mosque and to drive in and just see it from the street, um, which I believe, right, it should be the biggest square footage mosque maybe in the country. I like to say that. I think that that's a good statistic. Um, but it looks beautiful. Um, I parked over here and got to walk around and see it and I just, I commend everybody for your support and for the leadership team for getting, it's not an easy thing um, to do this kind of extension and it, it looks really beautiful. Um, I'm Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin. Um, as Assad said, I used to be the representative of this mosque for four years and it was very difficult when they redistricted me and I realized that I lost IAGD because this community has become very important to me. I feel very close to this community.